In today's video, I'm going to be managing Kylian Mbappe in every FIFA ever. And we're going to start with FIFA 17. This is how Kylian Mbappe looked on FIFA 17. Oh my god. Back when he had no game face or anything. Talking about Mbappe, this is the perfect time to do this video. Because apparently, Kylian Mbappe is going to be the cover star for FIFA 23. And that might be somewhat of a leaked FIFA 23 cover. I think it looks amazing. Happy to be here. Well, even with no game face, Mbappe was insane back on FIFA 17 for an 18 year old. These were his stats. Oh my god, 79 rated. Pretty sure he had like insane potential. Wait, he was 17 back then. That's nuts. And tell you what, that Monaco team was on drill. I'm pretty sure they knocked out Man City from the Champions League. They reached like the semi-finals or something. Bernardo Silva, Fabinho, Bakayoko, Thomas Lemar. They had Bernardo Silva, Falcao, Fabinho, Glick, Bakayoko, Lemar. That team was nuts. The likes of Jan Moutinho on the bench as well. After every season we complete, we move on to the next FIFA and we've also got some challenges to try and complete as we progress. So for FIFA 17, one of our challenges is to win a trophy with Monaco. I think that's gonna be a pretty tough one. To do that, we might need to make some signings, guys. I really think so. Let's figure it out. Alright, so we're on FIFA 17. How much money do we have? 32 million. That isn't too bad on FIFA 17, by the way. Let's see what we can do in terms of signings. I'm thinking we bring in like a good center back and we should be good to go because the rest of the team is pretty good. What on earth did Martin Braithwaite have on his head back then? Like, what is that? Is, is, is he like Mickey Mouse or something? Oh my god, that hairstyle. Wow. Well, we're not signing him with that haircut for sure. I have an idea for a signing, a player that isn't on FIFA these days. Lauren Koscielny, 85 rated. He's worth about 20 million. We only need him for one season. I think if we want to win a trophy, a player like him in our back line, that would be a dub. So we're going to try and sign Lauren Koscielny. I'm going to go and with 26 million is my first offer and let's see what they say. Remember guys we can only make one signing for every FIFA. Transfer offer unacceptable they want 39.5 million we don't have that kind of cash. Well let's go with 30 million. That's probably our best offer. Is there any bozo I can probably sell and get some cash for? I don't think so right? Like uh, I just don't know. Let's just see if they accept our offer for Koscielny. It's unacceptable. They just want more money. We'll have to probably sell someone. Let me just have a thing. Okay we don't need to have this many strikers I think I'm cool with selling Jermaine, maybe. Yeah, let's put him on the transfer list. If we can sell Valerie Jermaine, actually, maybe not him. What about this Carrillo guy? If we can sell him, generate a bit of cash, I might just do that. Don't mind selling this Boschkilia guy as well. Transfer offer for Boschkilia. This is good. 3.8 million. I'll take the money because we need as much as we can get right now. And one for Kylian Mbappe. I don't want to sell him in the first season itself. It's from Schalke. Why would I sell him to Schalke for all teams? Get out of here. We now do have slightly more cash. Will that be enough to sign? Of course, man, we want Koscielny. All right, here we go again. This time, I'm gonna go with an offer of 33 million. Let's keep increasing the money and hopefully it'll work in the end. Finally, we're selling Carrillo. That should give us enough cash for Koscielny regardless. And there you go, boys. The offer has been accepted. We are gonna sign Lauren Koscielny, bringing him back to France. Two-year contracts, fine. Let's get this done. Oh my god. I'm a top player at my current club and don't feel this move suits me. Thank you for, the in for your interest. Please revive Buys it off and my agent and I will take it under consideration. What? We're gonna have to offer him Boku money, I think. Well, it's it's realistic, I guess. We'll offer him 160. Couple of years in that contract. You know what? Let's give you more money. You want money? We'll give you money. We'll give you 170. Accept the contract now. Selling this Ragi guy to free up some wages because we'll need to because we're paying Koscielny an insane amount of money. He's declined our contract again. How much money do we need to give him? Well, we can offer him 200,000 now. I'm just offering him crazy money. Like, if this isn't good enough to sign you, dude. I don't want you. I'll go for someone else. Finally, Koscielny accepts a mega contract. Well, kind of like how players, you know, wanted bigger contracts for moving to smaller clubs. Makes sense. Well, let's put Koscielny into the starting 11. There you go. That's our team for the season. Well, let's sim through and see if we can win something. We're at the end of the season. Have we won a trophy with Monaco and Mbappe? Oh my god. Leo. How has Leo won the league over us? We finished above PSG, but Olympic Leo win the league. We got knocked out in the semi-finals of the French Cup as well. We didn't win whatever this was. And Champions League, I don't think we even made it out of the group. That is a bit sad. Yup, we finished bottom of the group. What were you doing, Mbappe? Mbappe only went up by one overall. That is honestly crazy. He only went up by one rating. He scored 10 goals and got 4 assists, but can't expect more, you know? Now we're heading into FIFA 18. This one's gonna be fun because it was a World Cup year. FIFA 18 was also Mbappe's first year at PSG and he was 80 
84 rated then. I don't know why he still has his Monaco picture, but yeah, the stats just went crazy. Still a striker and playing as a right wing, and I'm pretty sure on FIFA 18 you couldn't change positions, so not sure how that's gonna work out for him, you know? I think I should sell Cavani so that Mbappe can be striker. We put Di Maria, and that's perfectly fine. This team does need a CDM. No, there's no good CDM here. I guess we can sign that. Probably need a left back too as well, but Uni Berchice is fine. It's PSG. We should have a lot of money. 125 million. We can only make one signing though. Oh, look at that. Too many's popping up as a suggestion back then. 17 year old too many. Guys, I think we just signed Conte and call it a day. How insane would N'Golo Conte be? He's probably in his prime on this FIFA as well. 88 rated playing for Chelsea. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. Let's see. We might have to offer 70 to 100 million. We have the money. One signing. I'd love it to be N'Golo Conte. This was also the first day we had these cutscenes in game. All right, so let's just not play around. Couldn't just chuck in 60 million is my first offer. They want 80. Done. Let's get it out of here. Accept offer and we've just signed N'Golo Conte. All right, let's put Conte into that midfield. Love it. Absolutely do. I think I need to sell. Wait, why is Ariola a keeper? Ariola is the best keeper. That's sus. That is sus. Having just an 80 rated keeper is going to be a problem. As I said, I need to sell Edinson Cavani. Otherwise, I think Mbappe isn't even going to play. Edinson Cavani, offer from Bayern Munich. We're accepting it. We need him gone so Mbappe plays. Well, this is our first shot at a trophy. Let's see how many we can win over this challenge. It's PSG versus Monaco. French community shield, you could call this. What happens in this one? It's a 2-1 win. And Mbappe scores as well. That's the team, guys. We're, we're sorted. Let's get through this season and see how everyone does. Yo, I'd be surprised if we don't be competitive, at least in the Champions League. There are a few objectives we can complete, like scoring 30 goals in a season. It's possible Mbappe is 84 rated. We do win the league this time. 10 points clear of Monaco. Come on. Oh, we did win the, the French Cup. That's an L. But we did win this. I didn't, I didn't know they had two domestic cup competitions. Guys, I'm an idiot. I forgot to enable the Champions League for the first season. We could have won it this season. Oh my god. Why was player growth so slow back then? And Mbappe just went up by one overall. Although he scored 18 goals. But yeah, I didn't enable the Champions League. That's completely on me. We're gonna have to try it in the next season. We're now heading to the World Cup. One of our objectives is to win the World Cup. We've surely got to do it, man. This France team did it in real life. We can do it as well. All right, first group stage game against Australia. What's going to happen here? It's a 5-1 dub, but Mbappe didn't score. That's an L. Now it's France versus Peru for the second game. Come on, let's get an Mbappe goal at this World Cup, and we do get that. Let's go. That should seal top spot for us mostly. I think so. We still got Denmark in the final group stage game. Let's get this done and move on to the round of 16. It's a 1-0 win. Usman Dembele scoring, and that should confirm it. We've topped our group with a perfect record. Oh, wow. Unlike the World Cup final, Croatia are going to be playing us in the round of 16. Interesting. Okay, this might be a tough game. We could genuinely get knocked out here, but let's see. This France team is honestly insane. What? Round of 16? We fail our objective. No. How, how has France got knocked out against Croatia? Well, we're going to have to try again for FIFA 22, but how did this happen? Well, we're now heading to FIFA 19. If you are thinking, why am I controlling Real Madrid in FIFA 19? Well, I think you've guessed it. We're going to sign Mbappe. I want to complete at least some of my objectives. I think let's just get one out of the way on FIFA 19 itself. Bringing Mbappe to Real Madrid. I don't think this is now going to ever happen in real life because of, of course, how Mbappe and everyone dealt with things. But oh well, it's football. Happens. This team will not sell this player, but we can negotiate with him directly by paying his release clause. Well, sounds about right. Let's just pay that release clause of 147 million, delegate the contract and everything, and let's get it done. Mbappe offer accepted. It's a done deal. We've signed him for Real Madrid. We've completed one of his objectives. Let's go. Okay, now how do I fit Mbappe into this team, guys? Because Benzema is a striker. What do I do here? What do I do? We've got Gareth Bale chilling on the bench. There's Mbappe. Obviously, it makes sense to play him as a left winger, but, but the problem is on FIFA 19, you couldn't change positions. The game was done back then. Let's see FIFA 19 allowed us to change positions. No, there was no development plans, nothing like that. So I've got an idea. What if I move Mbappe towards Benzema and make him like, I don't know, how would that even work? Left striker? Sounds a bit stupid, you know? What if we move Benzema a bit on the right side and do that? Oh, it still doesn't work. How is, what is this for a formation? Oh my god. Um, okay, well, let's just see how this works. We'll put Mbappe here so he gets more game time. Okay, this team doesn't need any signings. This Real Madrid team, if we can't win the Champions League with them, I don't even know. Guys, we just took the L to Atletico Madrid in the UEFA Super Cup, and that's
That's why I think this formation is silly. Let's just go back to it being normal. We'll just play Mbappe up top at striker. Well, bro, this is a disaster. We finished third in La Liga. Hey, at least we won the Spanish Cup. We'll take that. Trophies for Mbappe with, of course, Real Madrid. We lost in the Champions League in the semi-finals and penalties. That is painful. I want to see how Mbappe did. So he did go up by one overall, which is nice. But what was his stats like? Only 14 goals. He scored more goals last season. Yo, we've got objectives to complete. We can't be doing this. This was a sad season. We're, we're not moving Mbappe to Madrid again because, yeah, because he was a striker. He barely played. It, it's stupid how this game works. Now, guys, we're going to have to go straight to FIFA 21 because I just can't seem to figure out how to download FIFA 20. Maybe I need to get like a hard copy of it. But anyways, FIFA 21, let's go. I think it's better to stick with PSG because their team was insane back then. I reckon let's just sign an improvement for the lowest rated player in this team, which is is Florenzi. Apart from that, Mbappe was 90 rated on FIFA 21. Oh my god. Like, surely this is the season where we can hit that 30 goal mark, potentially win the Champions League as well. Yep, this was the game development plans was there, so we're gonna put a poacher one on him and see how high rated we can get Mbappe. Well, we've got 133 million. I'm thinking, let's just go ahead and sign someone like Trent. Alright, here we go. Trent Alexander Arnold. How would he be for us? Okay, he's gonna be a bit expensive, but, but let's make this happen. All right, I'm just gonna go in 100 million. Let's see what Liverpool say. 100 million for Trent. They want 118. Let's do it. We can only make one signing anyways. And there you go. Trent Alexander Arnold accepts the contract. That's our right back signing sorted. Just gonna put Trent in there and that's the first team done. Let's win the Champions League, man. Come on. We keep winning the league and Mbappe wins another league title. That's become obvious, but what about other competitions? We win this one, which is great. Copa Nacionale. We take the L against Montpellier. What about the Champions League? Wait, oh, it's Bayern Munich who end up winning it. Where did we get knocked out? We didn't reach the quarters. We got knocked out by Bayern in the round of 16. Ultimately, we got knocked out to the eventual winners. Mbappe, though, went up to 93 overall. At least we saw some growth this season. What about his stats? Only 22 goals. Oh, we're not going to complete any of our objectives, aren't we? Ah, oh, this is an L. We've just got one FIFA left. FIFA 22 is going to be huge for Mbappe. We need to get things done. It's a World Cup year as well. Right, if we can't win the Champions League this season with Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar, I don't even know what to say. Mbappe, 91 rated on FIFA 22. Once again, we need to chuck a development plan on Mbappe that boosts his finishing as much as possible because I need him to score 30 plus goals this season. I think we sign an insane midfielder. We're good to go. And I think I have an idea. A player that's looking to leave Barcelona in real life, Frankie de Jong, would be a big dub. Let's do it. Alright, we have the money to sign him. I think so. Actually, now that look at it. We probably don't. He's too expensive. Yo, a player that PSG can't afford. Why has life come to? We're gonna have to counter with 140 million and just lower the fee down as much. Finally, 164.8 million, but the game is crushed. We're gonna have to do it all over again. This game is stupid. Hopefully, this time, the signing of Frankie de Jong works. Let's see if we can maybe get this a bit cheaper. I very much doubt it, but you never know. 120 is gonna be my offer. This time, they want even more money. Ha are we modded? Are we modded because of it? Oh, this game has glitched us, man. Now we can't sign Frankie Frankie de Jong, I cannot believe this. Oh my god. 150 is going to be my next offer. Now they want 210 and they are not budging. These guys aren't budging. 160. They're going to think about it. What a joke. They still want 210 million. Where? Wait, what? No, we just accepted that. I don't have 210 million. Pretty sure we did have that kind of money. What are we going to give for the contract? Bruh, look at this. We, we, we can't. We don't have the financial means. Exactly. It might just work. I don't know what's happening here right now. De Jong offer accepted. We can't. We don't have the money. We don't actually have the money. Dudes, I'm just gonna sign Kevin De Bruyne. Literally, I'm annoyed. I don't want Frankie De Jong if it means selling my soul like that. Let's just get Kevin De Bruyne. 91 rated. Surely we can win the Champions League with him. But I think he's gonna be worth even more. Bro, what is this game now? FIFA 22 has been the most annoying one yet. Trying to bring my transfer fee as low as possible, but it's just not working. Oh my god. That's, I think, the lowest we can even go. They need a bit of time. But yes, of course. Every club needs a bit of time. Well, finally, the, uh, the Kevin De Bruyne deal at least is going through. I think if we offer him that, he will accept it, but I, I don't know if we have the financial means to even pull that off. This has been a meat bit of a me. We can't even pull this off. What is going on here? The season ticket money, has it come through? I don't think so. Has it come through? Yep, I think it has. That's a bit of extra cash that we could possibly use. We need it. We really do. Gonna try and sign Frankie de Jong again, and hopefully it works. 150 million does not work. We're gonna have to slowly go up. 169 million is what we'll offer. They still want 200 and 
again. How do we get that kind of money? 179 million. Finally, that works. When he struggled so much to sign Frankie De Jong, hopefully we can win the Champions League with him now. Let's put him into the starting 11. Where's he gone? There you go. Let's sim now to the end of the season. We need to win the Champions League and we need Mbappe to score 30 goals. That's another Liga title. Easy. Wait, what? We got knocked out by Atalanta in the round of 16 in the Champions League. Yo, yo, yo. I cannot believe how bad PSG have been. Just like in real life, these guys have bottled the Champions League. And Mbappe red carded as well for the next game. What even has happened this season? How many goals did Mbappe score? Not 30. Well, there you go. That's the challenge failed. Oh my god, this has been a disaster. But we've got the World Cup 2022. If we can win that, all is saved. All right, boys. We're at the World Cup 2022. We gotta win this. Like, we need something big to win. That's our group. 2018 World Cup. We got knocked out in the round of 16. This has got to be better. All right. And Bobby and Benzema up top. Well, the team looks a lot better, I guess, than 2018. And we start off well. Benzema and Ben Yedder scoring. And Bobby got subbed off. The second game's against Tunisia. And Bobby's got to be scoring a fair few in this one. Well, he at least scores one. We'll take it. Next up, we've got Denmark. Final group stage game. Let's get it out of the way. What? This is what scares me. I don't think we're going to win the World Cup, man. Because the game, the results are so random. We do finish second in the group because of it. And in the round of 16, we've got Argentina. I don't like this. I really don't. Can we knock out an Argentina side that just won Copa America? Very tough, but we do it, guys. Let's go with a man down as well. Antoine Griezmann scored, got sent off, but we're through to the quarterfinals. Let's go. Next up is Netherlands. It's only going to get more difficult from now. Look at that Netherlands team. I think we're definitely the better team. Why is Giroud playing in Cam? Can we change that with something else? I'm going to play in Kunku in there. It just makes sense. Come on, guys. We need to knock out the Dutch. Can Mbappe and the boys get it done? Please. Let's go. Benzema and Kunku and Mbappe end up scoring semi-finals of the World Cup. We can do this. Am I seeing things? Or have Serbia made it to the World Cup semi-finals? And so have Senegal. Senegal, in my opinion, could be like the, the dark horses of the World Cup 2022 because they've got such a good team. They just won African Cup of Nations. But crazy seeing Serbia and Senegal in here. And Kunku is a baller, so I've kept him in the team. Can we knock out Serbia? I mean, we have to. And we do exactly that. Let's go. Oh my god, we're to the World Cup final. And it's Senegal in the final. Whoa! They actually managed to knock out Spain. Are you kidding me? What? This would honestly be the perfect way to wrap up this Mbappe challenge. Get him the World Cup. Complete one more of our objective and that's exactly what we've done. He didn't score in this final, but he helped his team. 2-1 against Senegal. We've just won the World Cup with France. Kylian Mbappe wasn't even among the top scorers of the tournament. I mean, that says a lot, you know. He was. I think he still scored a couple of goals, to be honest. Was he there for, for assists at least? I don't think so. It, it wasn't really Mbappe's tournament, but hey, we win the World Cup, that's what matters, a couple of objectives completed, we take that. And that's that for this video, let me know if you want to see this with another player, drop a like as well, subscribe if you're new around, and I'll catch you all for the next one, peace.